My name is Alejandro Mears. I've been racing about four years coming into five. The message that I would like to get across is that there is no giving up on me. I'm getting what I get, I'm running with it, I'm not letting nothing down. The audience that I'm trying to reach my videos with are people that want to make me take things to the next big step to accomplish all of my goals. The goal that I would like to reach at the end of my story is to be able to give my family whatever they ask for. When I accomplish my goal, it makes me feel like I came and I did what I was really supposed to do. It makes me feel free. It makes me get a feeling that not a lot of people can get. The forces that I would say working against me is that I'm gonna apply the pressure and there's no giving up on me. I'm equipped enough to be in the front. front. I don't have to be equipped to overcome these challenges. If I want it, I'm gonna go get it. The actions I take to move forward, my goal is to stay focused and to not let no one stop me. I always achieve my goal some way. You're never gonna see me stop. I've learned a lot karting. It taught me how to stay calm, not give up, and mostly, it taught me partnership. Next, I will be in a Miata racing by 2021. See you there. My name is Alejandro Ramirez. I'm a professional go-kart driver and I ride bikes for fun. What is the message you want to get across? The message I want to get across is that I want to put my name out there and show people that I ain't scared to do nothing, that you can achieve anything you want to. Who is the audience I, that you're trying to reach out in this video? I'm trying to reach an audience that can help me get more out in the world and get my, my name known so I can make it far in life. And why is that? So that my family can live good and I can be able to know that I'm my family straight. Are you passionate about what you do? Yeah, I'm passionate. I love every single thing that I do. How did you get started? I started racing because I, I bought my first go-kart on Offer Up, and after that, I blew up. Like After that, there wasn't no stopping me. How much was the go-kart when you bought it? The go-kart was like $450. Damn, man. I mean, you're you're like, well, how old are you? I'm 15 years old. And you, you bought a go-kart? Was it your money? It wasn't with my money. It was with my stepdad's money. Oh, man. So you're so your stepdad, are you guys close? Yeah, we're pretty close. Okay, I mean four hundred dollars, man. That's 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 pretty. That's pretty. You know, that's a lot. For, I, I thought you you afford it yourself. So, what is the goal you want to reach in this climax of your story? I want to be able to end it off doing F one professionally. I want to motivate kids my age to do better, and not just go off on the wrong track. Like I want them to stay. They can do whatever they want to do. They just gotta put their mind to it. That's what's up, man. That's amazing. That's what's up. How equipped are you to overcome these challenges? I'm equipped enough. I'm not over-equipped, but I'm equipped to the point where I can do what I want to do. I can be in the front. So, have you started winning any championship? Yeah, I've been, I've been winning. I've been vice championship. I've been all that. I've been. So, how long have you been doing this in total, you said? I've been doing it for four, coming into five years now. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's pretty long, man. And what age did you start? I started because I seen kids racing one day and I was like, damn, that's pretty dope. So I bought my first go-kart, started going to tracks, Miami GP, like Rice Racing. And after I went to Homestead, started practicing. Then we did it professionally. We got my next kart, which was an AM chassis with a Rock Mini Engine 60cc. Started racing those. Then after that, it just took off. Wow. Dang. So... What are the actions that you're doing right now to take m more towards your goal? The actions that I'm taking right now is to get my name out there so I, it'll be easier to move up to my goal. People will notice me and I'll just be like good into their eyes so that they can see, they can have confidence in me to see that I can do well in the bigger leagues. So pretty much, you, do you think that you will be achieving your primary goal in the end? Yes, no ifs, ands, or buts. Oh, wow. So what did you learn throughout the whole process to trying to reach this goal? 
I've learned a lot. I learned partnership, being calm, never give up, and don't stop till it's over. So, so what will you do next? What will I do next? Coming on, I'll be in the Miata 2021. See you there. Oh, okay. I see the confidence in you. Man, that's awesome, man. So, what message do you want to give out to the kids who wants to get into this uh, field of uh, race? Which you can do whatever you want. Don't let nobody stop you. All you need is a cart, and you can do it. Just because it's not this or that, you could do it. Just put your mind to it. Be smooth, and you got it. Wow. That's what's up, man. So, is there anybody that your brothers and sisters like look up to what you do? Like, anybody interest? Not much. I just look up. I look up to me because I, I can see me being big in the future. Wow. So, has there been a point where you've been discouraged? Never been discouraged. I'm always on top of my game. Never give up. Wow. That's what's up, man. So, are you still in school? Yeah, I'm still in school. What school you go to? I go to American Senior High. I'm in ninth grade. Oh, man. So you just started this year then? Yeah, my first year in high school. So you're already in high school and you're racing professionally? Yes, sir. Wow, four years into this? Yeah, four years coming to five. That is insane. <laughs> man, you have a lot of goals to accomplish still, but yeah. damn, man, like you made it far. And I, and I guarantee you'll be successful. So how does it feel just being in the field, just racing uh, in a go-kart? Like, it also makes me feel freedom, like, just, it makes you feel like a whole different person. What about your adrenaline? Like, how do you feel? Like My adrenaline is like, I love it. Like, I love going to those corners, full speed, all that. It's adrenaline that you can't get from any other thing. You can't get it from driving a car regularly, nah. When you hop in that go-kart, it's a different type of feeling. So have you ever been in a situation where you're racing and someone actually being very aggressive in the, in the, in the yeah, racetrack? I have. You just have to learn how to how to maneuver with them. And once you get a spot, like let's say they're good at this corner, but they're not in that corner, set yourself up to where you can pass them in that corner and you won't have to deal with them. Do you race against older kids that's not your age? Yeah, I do. I race up to with... 18 to like oh, wow. 30 year olds. So how, how is that experience when you're racing with someone older? It's good. Me and my boy Vance Devine, which he's in, he's also 15, me and him. We race against older people, but we're still top podium all the time. So what message do you have for those who want to get into your brand and want to help you race? It's not just putting your name into the go-karts. More than that, it's like putting your business into something deep that it's gonna be accomplished. Who's the mechanic into this? Like, who's helping out, like, getting everything ready and prepping these cars? Um, my mechanic is Brian Garcia, the owner of Car Tech. Took me a long way. He pushes me, teaches me how to do everything, how to how to run into the track smoothly. And one of the best things about him is he even gets on the track with me. He shows me each track, the layout, every single piece. That's pretty awesome, man. So shout out to him. Yeah. Car Tech. Car Tech. Instagram. What goes in your mind when you're getting ready to go out there and race? Nothing, just go and secure the bag, have fun, mostly. <laughs> there you go. So I'm guessing you're coming for the big money. Do you have any special food do you eat before you get ready to go out there and race? Like Yes, I do. I do eat tacos from my taco stand. Make sure you go follow them. My, my grandma's tacos, best cooking. So what's, what's their Instagram? It's my taco stand. They sell the best tacos in South Florida. Best tacos in South Florida. Mark my words. What makes you happy right now? Go karting, family, bikes, everything. I'm always in a happy mood. Nothing brings me down. So I heard you yesterday won last round of AMR. Yes, I did. It was a tough race, but it was a fun battle. It was Bobby and George. We all had fun. Head, head, girl, girl. <laughs>